Greetings and welcome to Monster Harvest. I'm Catherine of Sky and this is a free demo right now on Steam, but it's going to come in full version on August 19th. Now I am, I have been waiting for a game like this for ages and ages and ages and what it is, it's so cute. It is a, it's actually a pixel art game. I'm not sure why this title screen, I only hope they replace it with a piece of gorgeous pixel art. But anyway, um, it's about farming and farming little critters called planimals. <laughs> They're so cute. And um, you can use different slimes and potions and things on the seeds to create different creatures, which will then battle for you, kind of Pokemon style. Um, and I'm I'm really, really liking it. So let's get into this game. All right, I'm going to be Catherine. You can be whoever you feel like. The farm name, let's just call it the Sky Ranch. All right, and I'll be this person play so we have um a story i am not going to read the story you can read this story in the demo basically we are talking about a substance that is slime that comes from these mines and can turn plants into animals so we're going to kind of skip through the dialogue here i don't want to read it because the demo actually takes a while to play and uh, I don't know if we'll, this will be one or two episodes, but we'll see. But anyway, let's skip this is Professor Spark. He's telling us all about planimals. And then we have our bed here where we can sleep. And here we go again. Stuff is happening. Um, so what we want to do is use our tools we have. This is typical of like Stardew Valley style of stuff. Um, we can get stone by mining with a pickaxe. We also have a... Um, a, a chopping thing and a regular axe, a wood axe, and there's wood. And typically they kind of go into like two logs, two, two rocks, that kind of thing. Now we are given some seeds, which is kind of nice. So we use a hoe to hoe the ground and we get, uh, how many? Nine seeds. All right. Okay. And then we need one more square, but I'll do two. And then we can plant our seeds. Okay. One of those things, if you notice, um, that was actually really bad. I, I just, I did the thing that I didn't want to do. Whenever you're switching between stuff, you should always walk away from your crops because it almost always uses a tool that will absolutely kill your crops. Yeah. I had to learn that the hard way. So yeah, now we're left with eight seeds instead of nine. This is not ideal. But uh, I think that's kind of, I don't know if that's intended behavior or not for this game, but I really hope the devs change that because I don't want to accidentally kill my crops with any of these will kill your crops, either the pickaxe or the regular wood axe or, uh, or the hoe. So yeah, not, not good. And it's kind of like pretty devastating because sometimes you have an access to different kinds of, um, oops, that's the wrong axe. You have access to different kinds of things. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, so we have our, um, yep, let's fill up on our water. And I think what I'm gonna do is just chop the rest of these uh, logs and things. Now there is one thing that we can do, and that is go up north real quick. Uh, and we can also dodge roll, which is nice. Oh, yeah, I have been using the tools. Okay, hello. All right. Um, and there's a village up north where we can also go later. But as you can see, we are using stamina. One thing I really love about this game compared to Stardew Valley is there's no time of day. There is either day or night. And the stuff that you can do is regulated by how much energy you have. So if you have more energy, you can use as much as you want. And as we go to our bed, we can say uh we can just want to go to the evening we're going to get a tiny bit of stamina next um but the evening allows us to go to a special place in the world so i'm just going to use up this extra stamina because we do have it and it's nice and i just want to get a few extra materials we are leveling you can see the xp bar underneath the green one it is it is blue and all of these materials are going to become quite useful to us as we go along here and we're also going to learn things as we level up. So let's go here. All right. And sleep. So we're going to sleep to the next day. So I love this because like, it's really chill. You can just play for kind of the longest day you want to play. It seems like, 
and um, yeah, and get going. So we do need to water our crops uh, or else they will not grow. So make sure you water them daily. If there is rain, they are automatically watered as you might, be, as you might expect. Okay, so let's water those and I think we're good for going somewhere else. This is our selling box. It's called a consignment board. So you can put anything in there in order to get money. I think what I'm going to do is put in the rocks that I've gathered so far. Uh, because uh, the wood we're going to need later. And I want to make some stuff with it as we level up. So let's see. Uh, but I do also want to get a little bit of extra money initially. So we can kind of progress a little bit. Now we are in a kind of an interim section of the world here. Oh, there, there is something I was looking for. Okay, you discovered a honey pepper. Hardy food like this can be found by foraging around Planimal Point, but they aren't that valuable. So uh, despite what it says, we're actually going to sell this because you can gather some fruits and, and things that are unique to the different seasons in the game. And then you can um, unlock stuff if you have sold them before. But they can also be eaten, most of them, that they give you a little bit of a stamina boost. By the way, I love this section, it's so cool. And we get kind of an overview of the town. Whoa, a whole town has really sprung up fast. And it's all around my uncle's lab, imagine that. So there are some houses that are closed, which is interesting. Here's another couple of places. And then we go back to the general store. Okay. There we go. We should check it out and introduce ourselves. Alright, so we're going to skip this for now. But we are going to talk to some of the people. So here's a person. Hello. You go out exploring with that kind of gear? You look like you need an upgrade or some more planimals to protect you. Yeah, I do. I definitely do. I agree. So I do have 500 money, which is kind of a good thing. And we're going to be um, kind of introduced to each of the different characters here. All right. So this uh, person is telling us just to come to his shop whenever we feel like it. Now, uh, he sells mutato seeds and radish seeds currently, but you can expand the selection by buying stuff elsewhere. Now, he also sells salt and sugar, and those are different things for cooking we can also buy a backpack upgrade because we really need it oh my god so our current inventory is literally this line of stuff this is the first line of backpack I'm not sure if it goes by line or if you only get two spaces or four spaces or what um, but we really would like to upgrade this eventually we also have uh, the crafting menu here and we have the calendar now, I happen to know that the last day we can stay is the 10th. So I'm going to try to get as much done before the 10th as we can. And then we have our planimal directory. This is called the plant decks. And this is the different ways to mutate crops for each season. So here they show with mutato seeds, radish seeds, brainkin seeds, and glow fruit seeds. And we also have dry season, wet season, and uh, dark season, which is kind of cool. So there are different seeds planted in different seasons and we have to collect them all. Remember the, um, the seller only was sharing, uh, showing that they would sell mutato seeds and radish seeds currently. So those are something we definitely want to get into. All right. And then let's just kind of look at the town real quick. Here's a, just a house over here. We can go into each of these. Well, some of the houses we can go into some of them and some not right now. Okay. If you're going to go explore the dungeon make sure you're ready to fight because you never know where creatures you will encounter there or what creatures you will encounter there i always take planimals if i go exploring so basically we're told that this entire town has sprung up because of these very adorable little planimals let's see make sure you're taking care of your farm so you'll have more time to explore the areas around planimal point yes sounds good to me and let's see hello Hi, be sure to watch your stamina. I've already seen people get so tired they can barely move. So stamina is our green bar, but we can um, do the roll as much as we want uh, because it doesn't take stamina. And here is our first look at planimals. Oh my God, they're cute. All right, let's go down and look at these planimals. So here is the, um, the billboard for selling 
the items. So here's the honey pepper that we just found. Um, so we can collect flowers and wild food. And our reward, does it tell us what we get? Oh, and then we have enemies here. Uh, crystals. And then we have fish. Uh, dry crops. Wet crops. And dark crops. All right. And these tend to, I think they're upgrades for the farm here. I don't remember where I saw them. I could have sworn I've seen them somewhere. Okay, we've already talked to him. Let's go over here. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> Welcome to the Slimery. The name's a combination of armory and slime. Get it? Ha ha ha. My name is Thorn, and I run this place with my friend Spike. He's not very talkative, but I talk enough for the both of us. Yeah, I bet you do. Okay, if you need supplies for livestock, then this is a place to come. I can also upgrade your tools. Tools upgrades cost money and minerals, but they can be found in the dungeon north of town, but be careful in there. Come by any time. All right, so here, this guy sells some slime. Red slime and blue slime. Super red slime. And, okay, so here we, we, we even see potent magical slime used to mutate your crops into extremely powerful planimals known as megamals. Oh my god, that sounds adorable. And here, of course, we see our um, upgrades for the different tools. Gold, as we see, gold ore can be found in the dungeon or the caverns, which we will see later. Right now, I think I would like to buy uh, one red slime. Yes, good, good. Later, we can also farm our own slime. This is a clinic. And so the, um, yeah, they sell stamina potions in here mostly. So we can just look at what they're selling. So they sell herbal tea. And the, the dollar amounts for stuff seem pretty uh, extreme or inflated, I guess. <laughs> herbal tea for 50 50 gold uh, 50 monies wow that's a ton so let's go ahead and leave this place and um let's go back to our farm i think let's go uh, actually let's go and buy some stuff i want to buy some more seeds because our first order of business really is making a lot of money um hmm. let's see we have 300 which means we can buy let's buy mutato seeds for now just a bunch of them as much as we can so i don't think we're going to need much money for the next little while but it's best to start these guys growing because they take six days to grow so let's go down here and in this area it's really good to check uh daily if you are looking for items because this is where all of these like different uh flowers and fruits and things grow okay so what we can do also, we're going to get out our red slime and we are going to bless one of our crops with it. So you can see it glows there. Let's go ahead and also get out this hoe and very carefully hoe. I hope this has changed before the folded game, by the way. Uh, I think I've already mentioned that. <clears throat> yes. So <laughs> because it is terrifying to actually just delete your own crops and, and I think, are we going to... No, it, it was okay. Okay. Sometimes if you have one tool equipped, it will use the hoe and then you'll accidentally destroy your stuff anyway. So let's go ahead and get some water. Nope. There we go. Always go to the water to refresh your stuff. In fact, I think I'm going to take a picture of this. this. This reflective water is just gorgeous. I'm really loving the, uh, the pixel art style here. It's very, kind of reminds me a little bit of Stardew Valley. It's just lovely. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell this thing. We want to sell the honey pepper. Uh, we're selling stones. That seems good. We'll hopefully get a little bit more money tomorrow. And I'm just going to use up the rest of my stamina today on chopping things. Now, uh, yeah, chopping rocks, chopping wood, all that kind of stuff. You can chop down trees if you want to. That is definitely a possibility. Oh, we, we have a chest. Hooray. This is good. All right, let's take this one. go all right get these stones out of here all right so let's see what do we want to do can we make that chest let's see so here we have the chest let's put that over there seems fine and we'll just let's place this thing yeah right here maybe yeah right right there that looks better and then open the chest and i think i'll just keep a little bit of rocks and wood in there for now 
and then let's use up the rest of our energy so that we don't waste it. There we go. Come on. There we go. Nice. Oh, sleepy time is happening. Oops. But it's a good way to get XP is just keep on chopping things and do stuff. You can play this game with a controller as well. I haven't tried it out because I always played Stardew Valley with, you know, keyboard and mouse. So, okay, no more energy. So let's go. Uh, and as I said, I'm just going to go to the next day instead of just getting a tiny bit of stamina. Kind of want to finish the whole game in one episode, but we'll see. All right, so it tells you how much you get for each of the items that you have given into the, uh, the box. Or, well, the board. Technically, it's a board. Okay, it's raining, which means we don't have to actually water our plants. You can see they've grown a tiny bit, which is very, very nice. I want to go first to uh, town. Let's see what we can find there. Oh, there we go. Look, we have a flower. Nice. A kiss em flower. All right. Cool, cool. Oh, there's another one here. Usually there's like two to three items out here in the wilds. Let's go and see here this way. Anything here? Nope. They're very sneaky with the trees and the trees only fade like gradually. So you're kind of encouraged to explore and have a little bit of patience as you do stuff there. Okay, cutscene. I love that general store. It is like the most gorgeous building ever. It's so cool. Love it. Okay, there we go. Hi, Catherine. I've been out here for a long time trying to gather a number of different items for my research. Could you help me with it? You can? Great. I've placed a board in the center of town with all the items I need to collect. Okay, so this is, uh, yeah the completing of set items for special upgrades and you can't get them anywhere else and all the things and some of the items are from specific seasons that kind of thing uh, and so we have already collected the honey pepper this is what we've already sold so the flowers that we just collected are obviously not on there yet because we haven't put them into the box Let we go over here oh this general store i love the way it looks it's so good now let's go in here and talk to the merchant again. I think I want to buy some radish seeds in hopes that we're going to get some slimes coming up here. Let's see. Yeah, let's just buy another one and that'll be what we're going to do. I want to get enough to get something special. So let's just concentrate on that for now. All right, nice. Oh, we got one of these. Oh, that's nice. Wait, did we visit the professor in his laboratory? I don't think we did yet. Let's do that tomorrow when we go to town. I feel like I don't like to go there too many times because it's like Stardew Valley. It's like far away. It's like, help, please. Why are you wasting time like this? Oh, well, that was a bit close, wasn't it? All right. We have six, so we're going to just do six spaces here. And then walking away, choosing the thing. Because even when I choose the thing, it does an extra hoe thing. See? Naughty. Wait, did I accidentally delete one there? I think I did. Oh, no. Ay, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I'm trying so hard not to accidentally delete stuff. But I think that's a huge, huge problem. So I hope the devs fix that. And I, I hope that there's no such thing as, like, killing your crops with the wrong tool. Um, that is just kind of heartbreaking. I think that um, Stardew Valley, the only thing that you can actually cut with the wrong tool, well, quote unquote wrong tool, is going to be the, um, uh, the the grass, which you can cut with a sword instead of just the scythe. So that's so something I hope uh, that the devs will add to this game and just like make it very specific what you're able to cut with what it seems like the wood and the uh, stone respect that we get a basic fence nice and um, yeah but the other things apparently can kill all the plants with every tool and I hope that that's I guess it's intentional but I'm hoping that gets changed because it's way too easy to kill your crops this is our planimal uh, coop. We can have some in the party and in the pen as well. Now, the game does tell us that when you have planimals, 
they don't like competition so they want to be the only one of their kind uh, basically encouraging you to uh, try to farm different ones oh can I get out of here yes okay so here we have another building so we haven't unlocked the bunker yet but that is something that we uh, is in the future looks like it and then we also have another building over here which is the barn and the barn is right here next to the sign here uh, where we can sell stuff do we want to sell anything else I think you know what I think we're pretty good do we want to well, you know what we could sell some of this stone I don't know if we're actually gonna need it so we'll just sell it especially since this is a demo and might as well make a bit of money there we go and I will go ahead and put my wood in here as well and we are just gonna go into sleep land and have another next day see if we can uh, yeah get stuff going so we got 425 from a lot of the rocks was most of that I love that we have like these twinkle lights over there it's so nice fairy lights they call them I think so these are not done yet they look nice but no do not harvest them yet I believe that these take six days and the others take four days all right I'm gonna get this watering can out and just carefully water things There we go. Oh, let's go and get more. More water. Yay. All right, there we go. All righty, let's see what we have in town. We have spent a lot of our energy watering. Oh, we have another new flower. Nice. Let's go check this whole area out. Wait, what, is that a flower? Hello? Oh, the gilly flower. Nice. I haven't found that one yet. I did a test playthrough of this. Oh, there's a melon thingy. A moon melon. There we go. It does look like a moon with little stars. This this moon definitely has very deep craters that go through the other side because you can see the stars peeking out there. Pretty handy. <laughs> okay, let's go to the general store and talk to this person again. All right, so should we get more of these? I don't know yet. I want to go to our friend, the um, the other guy up here, Dr. Sparks. Let's go up here. Hey there, Catherine. So you couldn't wait to learn about my research, could you? I've discovered a magical slime in the dungeon north of town. Slimes come in different colors and have mysterious properties. I've been experimenting and have discovered that when you place a red slime onto a crop you are growing, that it will transform. The crop will turn into what I call a planimal. They are fiercely protective of whoever makes them and will even follow you around. People around town know are finding all kinds of uses for slime. Some are even able to power their houses with it. So you may notice a few strange pipes around town. The Slime Co. Pumpkin Company has even moved into town. I'm not sure exactly what they want because they're pretty secretive. The dungeons are closed at the moment, but I've collected some red slime for you. Simply apply it to a planted crop or even a seed, and the plant will blossom into a planimal. Make sure you keep watering it, though. It's really an amazing sight to see. I already had built a planimal pen on your farm that you probably noticed. Yes, we did. The pen can be used to manage your planimals. Planimals seem to get jealous of each other, so it's best to have only one of each type at a time. Take this red slime and give it a try. All right, we are gonna take our red slime and give it a try. Okay, what am I doing? Science, I love to tinker and discover. I've made it my life's work to find new ways to make life easier for all of us. Cool. All right, so we have discovered science. And here, I forgot to go in this area of town. You know, we were gonna look at these planimals, but I, this is kind of creepy looking, uh, but I forgot to do so, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, here is very obviously a fishing dock. I have not found out how to access that yet. Probably a fishing pole, um, but I'm guessing that comes later. Oh, there's a squirrel there. Hello. We catch more flies with honey than vinegar, especially in Planimal Point. We're a tight-knit community and like to help each other out. Nice. All right, so you see kind of just like various villagers uh, walking around, and you can talk to, to most of them, I think. Right, let's go around and 
We want to go north. I want to show you a special place that we are going to go to later. All right, there we have, of course, the map of the town as well as the the thing that says beware of dungeons. Yeah, <laughs> this is Rocky Ridge. Okay, so we are in a place. Hello. This is Joy. Be sure to watch your stamina. I've seen people get so tired they can barely move. All right. Now we have a ruined bridge. This is probably something we will discover later. Mm -hmm. Hello. Sorry, Catherine. Dungeon's blocked right now. Try coming back another day. All right. But we do find out that we can only come at night to those places. So we might try... I think we have to have our own planimal first. That's what we need. All right, there we go. Let's go back home. Man, this is this is exercise doing all of these like the rolls, the dodge rolls. There we go. Okay, so what we can do though is we want to sell some of these items, the flowers and such. We go let's sell these for now and i want to start let's see let's go ahead and use this slime yeah be careful we almost hit something let's put this on one of our radish seeds because we haven't done that before now what we really should do is buy some more seeds oh i forgot to do that sorry about that let's go over and get some all right, we're back and now we can plant these guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a separate little segment over here. This is what, that's four, five, six, seven. And we need two more than that. All right, let's go here then. And get our, okay, thank you. All right, and watering. I'm gonna go ahead and grab more water first. Get this one on the end so it doesn't get forgotten. I might have to chop down that tree there. I like this sort of squishing sound. <laughs> it's quite funny. Let's go ahead and chop these trees so we can see where what we're doing here. Oh, that's not the chopper. Yeah, using a hoe on a tree does not work very well. It is not ideal. Oh, hello. Okay, out of stamina. But at least we can see our tree now. That's good. All right, so let's go to bed and let us sleep till the next day all right we got some money not a lot 80 but it's something oh another cutscene. Mm-hmm. oh what is this oh no it's a slime help me catherine Oh, that was close. The slimes have never come out of the dungeon before. Something must have happened to, to agitate them. They're normally pretty peaceful. Meet me north of town tonight by the dungeon. We need to investigate this. You'd better bring a planimal with you per, for protection. Here, you can take this mutanko. I made it by using a red slime on a mutato plant. Different types of slime will mutate your crops in different ways, but a red slime will always make some kind of planimal. Take this sword to beat any slimes you come across. This should help keep you safe. I have to run to the lab, but meet me outside the dungeon entrance tonight. All right, we get to go in the dungeon and we have a planimal, hooray. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our thing. And these guys all need to be watered. Let's go and get watering can. There we go. So we have much to do here. I don't know if we're going to have a lot of energy for the dungeon, but we'll get a little bit of stamina from the um, having a nap. Okay, got to go back and water. Nope. There we go. Watering takes a lot of energy, that's for sure. But we're going to get a ton of money from these crops, so this is going to help us buy all kinds of stuff. Wait, hello? Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, um, let's see. I think we can... I think these are ready. I'm going to try. 
nope they're not ready because we should have gotten us something there it's for me it's been really difficult to tell when they're ready these guys i thought we've already waited four days but apparently we haven't these guys are easier to tell if they're ready the mutatoes because they kind of have a i don't know a sort of ring or in the in the grass um but anyway that that's unfortunately so we wasted a little bit of money there which is not great but what can you do right let us go up here and see what we can find. We have another moon thingy. Let's go ahead and eat this. In fact, we'll eat most of the stuff that we have, that we get. If we can get anything over here, of course. We have, oh, another moon fruit. Nice, moon melons. Oh, another flower, hooray. All right, let's go ahead and pick that. And we'll just go back home. Oh, wait, we need to buy some seeds, I think. Let's buy a couple more seeds. We can buy two radish seeds. All right, let's go. We are going to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant the radish seeds real quick. And then I'm going to, oops, excuse me. I think it's probably better to have like a progression of like stuff here. So let's go pick this. Thank you. And go there. And then water. No, I didn't want to water there. Or I didn't want to hoe there actually. So let's see this. This is a little bit buggy. I think it is actually buggy. It's not working as intended, I believe. All right. So let's eat this stuff. Yes. Do we want to? Yeah. Let's get some stamina. It's not a lot, but it's something. To go into the dungeons, we kind of need some stuff. So let's go ahead and sell these flowers real quick. Uh, and we'll get a tiny bit of money for tomorrow. I'm also going to put in the, the logs here and also get my sword on number five. Uh, you can click them around as well. I just did it a faster way. So we're going to go to evening. And here we go. Let's go see what the world has for us. Go ahead and get our sword out just in case there is anything dangerous around here. Occasionally there is. Okay. We can talk to this lady with her planimal. Wherever has my son gone? He's at that age where he's oh so active all the time. <laughs> And <laughs> she has like this little eyeball planimal. So cute. All right, let's go. Oh, we can't go that way. Whoopsies. I forgot. This is like a trap that catches you every time you go up. I get the uh, the more interesting pathing thing. Obviously, the um, this town planner did not learn from the Romans. Straight Roman roads. <laughs> Just joking. But I do wish it was a little bit faster to get up here. That said, it is a very chill game and it's quite fun to play. Okay, we have the professor here. Hello. How you doing? Did you see that? That was Wrigley, the manager at Slime Co. Pumping. They started here up here in town just a few days before you got here. They've been pumping slime into town to power some of the buildings. I've heard they just want to profit off of what I've, I've discovered here, but I think that it could be dangerous to remove slime from the dungeon. I wonder what they could be up to inside the dungeon. I've noticed there are wild slimes all over the place now. This has never happened before. I think whatever Slime Co. Hat was doing in there might have something to do with it. Would you go into the dungeon and find out what they're up to? From my research, I've found the dungeon is far too dangerous during the day. You should only investigate at nighttime. Be sure to always bring planimals with you to protect yourself. The dungeon is full of wild planimals and other strange creatures as well. Report back to me once you've found anything. We have to make sure Slime Co. isn't up to no good. All right, so we're going to head into the dungeon for the very first time. So let's go in and see what we have. Okay, so here we are. We start off in a room and we have a very nice mini map. This is an absent thing on the overworld. Um, but I guess you don't, there aren't that many places to go. Ah, we see our first dangerous critter. Okay, let's go ahead and attack it. So I whack my sword at it and here we go with stuff. Now, 
this is the planimal basically has three different attacks but we don't have the ability to use these this needs to be level three to unlock this one and level eight to unlock the last one so we're just going to do a slam and you can only attack with your planimals you cannot attack with anything else so we're going to hope that our pet does okay it is going to be injured after this that's for sure All right, so it's down to 26 HP. That's a bit rough. But we did defeat the thing. We are getting more XP here. We've got 115. So that's nice. So there is various stuff in these dungeons. There's crystals, as you can see. We have iron ore, and then there's gold. This is gold ore here. So I'm going to try to be very um, frugal with my stamina because we don't have a lot of it. Obviously, I'm going to try to get stuff that is... Okay, there we go. That is... Um, we can't be found outside. Like, I don't want to chop the wood. I don't want to chop the stones. I just want to get stuff that we can't get outside. Let's get that red crystal because we don't have one yet. And always keep track of your inventory as well. Uh, and as we see with the red crystal, mysterious crystals can be used to craft slime and even super slime. Uh, that is not a feature that I think we can access just now. I haven't unlocked that. And I think we go to the professor for that. But until then, we can actually add it to our, I don't know, our, um, is that attacking me? Go away. Go away. Ow. Oh, this could be bad. So this is a rad cross. Uh, we're just going to have to try to kill this thing. And we do have FP, which is, I guess, some kind of a resource. Uh, and these cost different FP amounts. I don't know if we'll be able to kill this thing. We'll try. Oh, we, oh, we will, actually. It's not attacking me directly, it looks like. Let's slam it. Kill it. Yay! Okay. So we've actually gotten to level two. Hooray! Okay, so we have, we need level three. Oh, we got, uh, oh, we got radishes. Radishes, nice. This is great. I'm a bit scared to go to the other areas. Let's just have a peek um, and see. We really want to see if there's any, like, material that we need. Okay, there's some iron over here. Now, iron is a material that I have seen that we need to upgrade like those sheds and things like that, like the barn, I think it needs iron. So that's something that we can kind of keep track of. Now, we really want to not kill our planimal because we only have the one right now. We really only have one. <laughs> so it's uh, kind of a needed thing to keep him alive if we want to continue to gain XP. That's, that's kind of critical, slightly critical. Oh, no, 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 no. We may have to just give up on this place. Whoa, well, that's a cute one, but I can't, I can't risk it. Okay, let's go ahead and go home with this. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is, um, I think we need to leave this episode kind of at this. I, uh, we'll go ahead and finish the rest of the week. Let's go and look at that. Uh, let's see in here. Yep, so we have a few more days left, but uh, I think we need to leave that until the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.